The BRS leader and Telangana Chief Minister KCR's daughter Kavita has hit out at Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP government at the centre after she was summoned by the Enforcement Directorate for questioning in the alleged Delhi liquor policy scam. Now she says that it's BJP's modus operandi to send ED in poll-bound states and since Telangana is poll-bound, that is why our leaders, our MLAs are being targeted by central investigation agencies. She also says that the law mandates women to to be questioned at home and ED and CBI should come to my house to question me if at all they need to but the enforcement directorate refused this request. Hitting out at the BJP, she further said that uh, the BJP should work for increasing jobs and reducing prices and they shouldn't work for torturing opposition leaders. Uh, she also hit out at the Congress party and she said that the Congress is no longer a national party. They should leave their arrogance behind and come together to defeat the BJP in 2024 and come together with other opposition parties. Remember, the Enforcement Directorate is set to question Kavita on March 11th in the Delhi liquor policy case. Listen in to what all she said hitting out at the BJP government. We released a poster on 2 March and on 10 March we were going to give the So the Enforcement Directorate gave us notice and said that you have to come to the 9th March. तो हमने कहा हमारा कार्यक्रम है हम 16 मार्च को आएंगे ऐसा हमारा रिक्वेस्ट था लेकिन पता नहीं उनको क्या जल्दबाजी है पता नहीं ये जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन दिल्ली एक्साइज पॉलिसी को लेके चल रही है इसमें कौन सी आफत आने वाली है अगर हमें दो दिन का और समय दे देंगे उन्होंने कहा नहीं आपको आना ही है हमने कहा दस मार्च को हमारा धरना है तो ग्यारह को आ जाएंगे तो ग्यारह को बोले लेकिन इस बीच में जो ई का और हमारा कम्युनिकेशन हुआ था इसका मुझे आप सबसे शेयर करना है देखिए जब भी एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट और या किसी भी इन्वेस्टिगेटिव एजेंसी एक वुमेन सिटीजन को इंट्रोगेट करना चाहती है तो एक फंडामेंटल राइट वुमेन का होता है कि वुमेन के घर पे आके इन्वेस्टिगेट करें और पूरा पूरा इसका लॉ में हमें सपोर्ट है वुमेन के लिए और बहुत सारे कोर्ट केसेस भी हैं जिनमें जजमेंट वुमेन के तरफ आए तो हमने ईडी को बीच में रिक्वेस्ट किया कि 10 तारीख को बाकायदा अगर 11 तारीख को आपको इन्वेस्टिगेट करना है हमारे घर पे आइए अक्यूज किसी के साथ आपको इंट्रोगेट करवाना है तो उनको भी लेके आइए घर में बैठ के इन्वेस्टिगेशन कर सकते हैं क्योंकि लॉ हमें सपोर्ट करती है उन्होंने कहा नहीं आपको खुद चल के आना होगा देखिए मैं तो पोलिटिकल लीडर हूँ लकीली बाई गॉड ब्लेसिंग पूरा पार्टी हमारे साथ है हमारे पास साधन है तो हम पहुँच सकते हैं लेकिन मैं मीडिया मित्रों से ये पूछना चाहती हूँ कई आम महिला किसी गांव में है कुछ इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है तो इतना हमने कोविड के दौर में देखा है कि वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस से मेडिसिन भी पहुंच सकता है डायग्नोसिस भी हो सकता है तो इंटरोगेशन क्यों नहीं हो सकता है वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस टुडे द क्वेश्चन इज व्हेन वी लुक एट तेलंगाना डेटा फ्रॉम लास्ट ऑगस्ट इनफैक्ट फ्रॉम लास्ट जून गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हेज कॉन्स्टेंटली बीन sending its agencies to Telangana. Now question is why? Because Telangana assembly polls are there in this November, December. So the modus operandi of BJP has been ki jahan bhi election hai, wahan Modi se pehle ED pauncha tha. To humare Telangana mein bhi yehi hua hai. Takriban sare business houses pe, ek 500 plus business houses pe IT raid hota hai. CBI ke raid ek 100 hota hai Telangana ke raj mein. ED to कम से कम दो दो सौ जगह उन पर उन्होंने छापा मारा है और एन एजेंसी ने 500 टू 600 मिनिमम लोगों को बुला के उनको डरा के धमका के अलग अलग तरीके का काम वहाँ पे चल रहा है मैं ये लोगों के सामने जनता के सामने आज रखना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि ये मेरे अकेले का मुद्दा नहीं है हमारे खुद के पार्टी में मिनिमम पंद्रह सोलह लोगों को एम को एम को मिनिस्टर्स को टारगेट करके अलग अलग केसेस में बुलाने का काम कर रहे हैं तो मेरा मोदी जी से बीजेपी से एक ही विनती है कि आप जनता के पास जाइए आपने किस तरीके का डेवलपमेंट किया है तेलंगाना के लिए आपने क्या किया है देश के लिए आपने क्या किया है वो बताइए उनका दिल जीतिए बाद में इलेक्शन जीतिए लेकिन हम इलेक्शन हारेंगे या जीतेंगे एन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट यूज करेंगे बैकडोर से गवर्नमेंट में आएंगे इस तरीके का तो हमने देख लिया है नौ राज्यों में चला है और तेलंगाना में वो चल नहीं पाया उन्होंने कोशिश किया है लेकिन हमने चलने नहीं दिया
Now, my colleague Uma Sudhir now joining us for more details on this. And Uma, as we just heard, Kavita saying that the Income Tax Department has conducted 500 raids, the CBI has conducted 100 raids, and the ED has conducted 200 raids in Telangana because it's election year. So she's saying that these central investigation agencies are being used to target uh, Telangana leaders because it's election year. Yes, indeed. That's what... Uh Kavita, who is going to be appearing for questioning on the 11th of March, has uh, put forth. And that has been the argument, in fact, not just of her, but uh, her brother, who is the minister in the Telangana government, uh, Mr. K.T. Ramarao, her father, KCR. And also, you would recall that all the, uh, you know, at least eight opposition parties that, in fact, got together to convey exactly the same thing. And subsequently, even saw those leaders who had not initially, uh, who are not part of that eight-letter uh, thing, which was written to the Prime Minister, uh, Mr. M.K. Stalin, Pinarai Vijayan, all of them also wrote it. So this is something that all the opposition parties are wanting to flag and bring before the people, saying that uh, these agencies are being used uh, as extensions of the government. They're pointing out to three things. Uh, K.T. Ramara, for instance, spoke about uh, 5,400 cases that have been booked by these university agencies, and he said that of that, only about uh, 23 were against BJP leaders, and that the rest was being used against opposition parties to threaten and to in intimidate. And he says that they will not be going to court to stop the investigation per se, and they believe that uh, in the courts of law, they would get justice. And uh, uh, only to say that the process should not become the punishment. So, uh, uh, Kavita also listing out the numbers of raids that have been done by the Income Tax Department, Enforcement Directorate, as well as the CBI. And uh, she, in fact, went on to even say that she believes that these numbers are going to in, uh, increase in the months to come because uh, Telangana is going to pose uh, the latest by the year end. Uh, by November, the elections have to happen. And she says that that's the shadow in which uh, she is. Uh, uh, you know, the uh, opposition parties, including her own, are facing the heat uh, from the central uh, agencies. So, right. uh, three things that I must point out here. Uh, Kavita, of course, will be sitting uh, at Jantar Mantar for that uh, uh, dharna asking for the women's uh, reservation bill tomorrow. The Telangana uh, chief minister is right now holding a cabinet meeting at Pragati Bhavan. And tomorrow we are expecting that an extended meeting of not just the cabinet, but also the MPs and other seniors from the party will also be meeting tomorrow, even as uh, at Jantar Mantar, the public protest will go on, but the party wants to strategize here about what next for them. Back to you. Right, Uma. And while uh, Kavita, of course, hit out at the BJP government of, uh, alleging that central agencies are being used by the central government to target the opposition leaders, she's also hit out at the Congress party, saying that the Congress is no longer a national party. They should leave their arrogance behind and join hands with regional forces to defeat the BJP in 2024. So Kavita also hitting out at the Congress party and uh, asking for the Congress party to join hands with regional forces. One is the, uh, the central agencies and uh, the alleged misuse that opposition parties like the BRS or rather Kavita and her uh, uh, brother KTR, KT Ramarao are alleging. The second aspect is the opposition unity that we're talking about. And even after the Raipur meeting, uh, when Mr. Karke had uh, said, that, said that they do believe that uh, the non-BJP forces need to come together, uh, I had questioned Kavita at that time uh, in an interview here, and she specifically said that Congress cannot take that position as though they are going to be the leaders. They have to meet us on an equal footing. And uh, when they meet us uh, as uh, uh, as equals, they are willing to join hands with them. In fact, there was a word of praise also that she uh, put out for uh, uh, Sonia Gandhi with regard to the women's reservation bills and uh, said that even uh, you know coming to that stage as it did, uh, uh, coming to the Rajya Sabha and so on, also happened because of the efforts of uh, Sonia Gandhi. But yes, politically, she's making it clear that Congress cannot take that kind of a position because they, uh, like she says, uh, Congress is no longer the kind of a national party that it uh, imagines itself to be. And therefore, they need to join hands with the others as equals and then uh, take the uh, BJP on together because there is a common cause that uh, they are all, uh, in a sense, one of the most common, you know, the, uh, the, uh, something that's bothering all the parties or most of the parties is the uh, investigations by these central agencies, whether it is ID, ED or CPI. Back to you. Right, Uma, thanks very much for uh, joining us with those details. And let's just listen in to what Kavita said hitting out at the Congress party. One thing is that when someone comes to the side of the side of the side, first of all, the 
बाकी विपक्ष लोगों को लगता है कि आवाज़ उठाने का हक सिर्फ हमें है तो बाकियों को यू नो अंडरमाइन करना चाहिए तो कांग्रेस पार्टी का ये आदत है कोई भी आवाज़ उठाता है बीजेपी के खिलाफ तो इमीडिएटली बोलते हैं ये बी टीम है सी टीम है लेकिन आज कांग्रेस की हालत अगर आप देखेंगे तो पूरे देश में सिर्फ और सिर्फ उनका एक बड़ा रीजनल पार्टी का दर्जा रह गया और कुछ नहीं है दे आर नॉट ए नेशनल पार्टी एनी मोर अगर उनका ऐसा कुछ भ्रम है उसको छोड़ना चाहिए वो भ्रम से बाहर निकल के आके कांग्रेस पार्टी को स्ट्रांग बनाने के लिए सोचना चाहिए इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री नॉट इन कांग्रेस पार्टी इंटरेस्ट एंड जहाँ जहाँ स्ट्रांग रीजनल पार्टी से उनसे अलाइन करना चाहिए अगर सही में कांग्रेस पार्टी चाहती है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी को ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर में हराए तो दे शुड लीव देर एरोगेंस दे शुड कम डाउन दे शुड बिकम अ टीम प्लेयर दे शुड वर्क विथ ऑल द पार्टीज टू मेक श्योर बीजेपी लूजर्स ए नेक्स्ट इलेक्शन तब उनको पता चलेगा कौन बी टीम है कौन ए टीम है कौन क्या टीम है अगर हम बीजेपी के बी टीम होते तो आज ई ऑफिस में नहीं होते ना भाई हम तो आराम करते होते वो तो उनके खुद के नेता बोलते हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कि जो भी ज्वाइन हो जाता है बीजेपी में तो उनका कुछ आराम ही आराम है कोई एजेंसी नहीं देखता है 600 करोड़ का घोटाला करो एक लाख करोड़ का करो अदानी के जैसा रिकॉर्ड थोड़ घोटाला करो फिर भी कोई नहीं पूछने वाला है ना तो हम तो बी टीम नहीं है हम तो ए टीम है आगे चल के बराबर भारतीय जनता पार्टी का ऑल्टरनेटिव बी होगा